Dave Snyder, February 5th, 2015, documenting my new discovery here. Okay, so last night on February 4th, I was on my Google Earth, and, and I was on Wonder Maps, and I was seeing this pattern, so I saved it last night, and I'm trying to get it out of here. And I overlaid it over the mother hole, basically, that, which is Mare Oriental. And it turned out really, really cool. Which one was this? This is one I gotta bring up. No, that's not. There's this. Uh, okay, so I overlaid this weather pattern. As you can see, that's Europe and Russia and whatnot. And that is over Mare Oriental, just like this, right there. And this, I, you can see this green. This is that corner. See that the bird? I call this the bird right here. It looks like a bird. Okay, so that right there goes with that. And you can see how the rest falls in the lines pretty well. And then uh I started to bring up some of the other overlays that I have in this set in place here. If you've been paying attention or whatever, if you're not most people are unsubscribing these days, so that's fine. Probably due to my comments. Oh well. Can't change, can't change somebody by unsubscribing to them. I don't know. You can just stop listening, I guess. But anyways, that that I thought went there really well. You can see the round pattern. There's the mother hole right here. There's part of it, anyways, with some a piece missing. It actually looks like it got cut off by another impact right here. This this could be like another impact. But anyways, I was going through my uh, other overlays up here. I was at the Three Kings one. I put that up there. Actually. I was going through just really I was just going through uh, some of these overlays so I had Mo up there and then I had a uh, started clicking on these ones and I start looking for the one to go you know ones that'll fit it and I got down to the three kings and that one right there was okay you know because we already see we've already lined we've already seen that in the center of the mother hole right there the three kings but it, it matches there too and then then I reached uh, I came to this one I think it was down here a little bit yeah I'm coming to it I don't I didn't title it so up oh, there it is and this was already set in place I don't even remember putting this one down to be honest I don't this is the polar vortex up here and uh, look at how it completes that circle it just puts it right in perspective there. I think. It just completes it. You can see this half the circle, and then, then when you bring up the other one, you see the other half. So they were both, both in the same place. Both created in the same volcanic hole on the Earth. My belief. That's my theory. Because these big holes are all big, you know. They could have been at. These were probably at the poles or something. I don't know. I'm just documenting my discoveries from this point on. I'm not trying to put it out there and explain it to anybody. I'm. If I'm trying to sit, explain it while I'm making the videos, I'm trying to figure it out myself, basically. I'm tired of trying to explain it. I turn blue in the face trying to explain it. I don't. Cause I, but I don't even understand it myself. So fuck it. It is what it is. You see that? This has not. This overlay had nothing to do. I don't even remember putting this picture down. I don't even remember it. But there you see it's in the same place as that. You know, it just completes that circle. And it's not. I'm not saying it happened at the same exact time. I'm saying they were created in the same place. This is another picture. Let me turn this one off. This is another picture that belongs in the hole. And I know I've been showing Europe and all these places different different alignments and stuff but uh there it is right there again I don't know what else to bring up really I know oh I do yes I do Putting that right over Russia. See that? That's right by Russia. See how it's, it's line, lining itself right by Russia. Where I showed, showed her before, 
the borders of Russia are actually showing the Schrodinger or the lunar south pole pattern. They actually show it in the borders, which shows that's exactly where it hits the land. Right where you see the circular pattern, that's Schrodinger right there where it hits the land because the borders are actually showing it. You see how it's round here and there's no yellow? In, I mean, this is this is Russia right here. There's Moscow. I've showed that over already where that where, what part of the Schrodinger crater hits Moscow, but this is this is Schrodinger's crater right there in Mo in Russia. That circular pattern is Schrodinger, so that's where it hits the land. Obviously, because these are borders that are on the land, so that's where Schrodinger's borders are right there. The rest of this is the rest of the lunar south pole. This part here where it cur curves down. Now this this other picture isn't aligned to it perfectly that I have over here, but it's it puts it in in the right place. Puts it right in the right uh, right in the right area. But I, knowing that it, it hits Russia right in that where I just showed you in those border areas right there that's Schrodinger on the land that's where it hits the earth this spot right here Schrodinger's print is right there in the earth not in the sky as clouds but right here on the earth I showed that before that's that is Schrodinger this is the rest of the lunar south pole pattern right here it curves like that just like I always show it it's the exact pattern of the lunar south pole right here this whole area of Russia and this other picture that I'm showing you of the weather like this, that's your Siberian, that's your eruption that creates the Siberian traps. This, this big circle right here would be your volcanic eruption that creates the, the, volca the Siberian traps that are bigger than the biggest lava field on the planet. Bigger in Hawaii and all that. 50,000 50, times bigger, some crap like 500,000 times bigger than the Hawaiian, Hawaiian lava fields or some shit like that. But that's the big hole that would have done that. So the, the eruption that you know that supposedly made you know brought everything to extinction was right here. This is it in Siberia. This is the big volcano area, I would imagine. And I haven't really looked underneath that area in Russia or Siberia, but it, you can see that it was probably this probably had something to do with it. It's right here. This was the big hole. Somewhere right in here, and there's the Tugunska River, right there, where the big impact happened. There, it's this all. It's all related. There's a, a, an attraction to this area. See, and, and the North Pole is moving towards Moscow. At I don't know what is it, 10 miles a year, every 10 years, it's moving 10 miles or some shit. In 100 years, it'd be. It's only 100 and something. What is it? Like a thousand miles from here to here, and it moves. So in a hundred years, it's supposed to be in Moscow, basically. Not Moscow, but in Russia. But I point to Moscow because Moscow is the point. is the center of Schrodinger, see, pretty much. It's almost dead center, Schrodinger, right there. This is Schrodinger, and it's almost dead center. So it's heading that way. That's the direction the North Pole is heading now. And it'll be there in a thousand, in hundred years. It should be right in here. Where the lunar south pole has hit before, so it... If in a hundred years, if it reaches this point, it, it's it's very likely that the lunar south pole or part of the moon could, you know, have that same uh, magnetic attraction to this area. I'm not saying it's going to hit that area. I'm just saying it's going to have some kind of attraction because it obviously did before, obviously. And since it's moving that direction to where it's already had some attraction to that area before, it's likely that it would happen again. Which I'm just saying the same magnetic attraction will occur again because we're due for a pole flip and that's what that's where it's going to flip and this x where i put this x right here because the moon is planet x i know i'm just stupid that is why they call the moon or that's why they call it planet x right there there's a big old x on the bottom of the moon see the big red stripes i'm just kidding but those are to mark out the X that you, you probably won't see otherwise to see. There is an X on the moon. And you can look at it like a cross, too. I do believe this is where the cross actually comes from. On the, and we don't see it that clearly, as I'm sure it was seen in the, in the ancient times. but Because they don't show us the moon clearly. This is not how it looks. 
if we were to look at it. If this was facing the earth and we were to see this, it would be a gi big giant hole. And I'm sure there would be a cross right there. There's, there's Schrodinger's print right there. Which this is on the moon, this crater, if we measure it, on the moon. Oops, what am I doing? Cancel that. So if I measure this, it's like 200 miles across, right? 188. So if I if I go back to the Earth, go back to the Earth, and measure Russia within its borders, that's the actual size of that crater. Watch. So if I go like this, from here. Just go from this edge to that edge. You got almost a thousand. Let's just round it off to a thousand miles. I mean, you might as well. That's because that's the size of it. That's the actual size of the mark that it leaves on the Earth. So, how does a 200 mile in diameter basin or crater on the Moon leave a thousand mile print on the Earth from space? How does that happen? The magnetic attraction is going to pull up something bigger than it actually is on the moon? I don't think so. I think it's hit the Earth right here and it's left a thousand mile diameter print. And it, I mean, the lunar south pole is hit here. It's it's definitely here. This is the this is going to be the magnetic pole, and that's the the pole of the the lunar south pole of the moon hitting here. So, if that doesn't make sense to anybody, I just uh, I can't make it make any more sense than that. I just oops pretty simple magnetics magnetism is pretty simple to understand as far as I'm concerned I, mean, I can it's easier to understand than gravity so anyways just pointing some things out that's it till the next discovery have a good day